you're scanning your patient flat on ITU, for example, you'll find that their heart is a little bit more sternal than when you can scan them on the left, but otherwise the principles are the same. So with your probe marker towards your patient's right shoulder, placing it on the chest for your parasternal long axis view, making sure that you're not tilted like this so that you're losing the valve. So if you get a view like that, it's just a matter of tilting your probe to bring those valves into view, making sure you're nicely on axis. So you notice if I'm rocking too far this way, I get a sloped ventricle. I want the walls to be nice and horizontal across my screen. And the same effect will happen if I'm just too far down my patient's body. So this is a very common version of the long axis view that you see in beginners. And it just means you need to slide higher on your patient until you get those walls nice and perpendicular. And I can just slide my probe along to make sure I have the valves in view, aortic and mitral valve. If I slide this way, they'll come off the edge of my sector. Once you're happy with your long axis view and you've saved it, you're going to rotate to the short axis. If you see something like this, that's the mitral valve, and you just need to tilt a little bit further to remove it and get to your papillary muscle level. If you go up towards your patient's head, you'll get the aortic valve, which is your basal short axis view. And if you go too far down to the apex, you'll get an apical cut. So you want to be right in between here at papillary muscle level. And again, you'll probably need to just move your probe slightly to optimize that window. The movement between this and a mitral valve level view is very, very fine. So when you find this view, just practice going between them. So mitral valve, papillary muscle, mitral valve, papillary muscle. And this is a really good view for looking for regional wall motion abnormalities. You should be able to see all of the walls squeezing in nicely into the cavity. If you would like to learn more echocardiography with us, there's a link in the description below. And at the end of the course, you receive a certificate of completion signed by me and Professor Darrell Francis of Imperial College London.